going guys, so welcome back to Gaming Today! Today we're talking about a game called Heavy Metal Machines. Now this game has been available since 2017 on Steam, but guys it's finally here on the consoles PS4 and Xbox. And for those Nintendo Switch fans out there, I don't believe this game will ever come to your system. However, this game isn't the best game ever. It's supposed to be a MOBA with cars, very similar to the game I reviewed way back in the day, which was Switchblade. It's also free to play, I don't know if it's still around, I assume it is. Either way, this game is very similar, but not as good. I know, that sounds hard to believe. Well, before we get into all that, let's talk about what Heavy Metal Machines brings to the table. It's a heavy metal version of a MOBA with cars. It's supposed to have heavy metal music in it which actually isn't very good to be honest with you. So for this entire video I don't know if it's licensed music or not so I'm going to put my own music that is heavy metal in there so you guys can hear something that is actually good heavy metal. Anyways guys, but the music in the game is not very good which kind of fails on its head because you would expect this game to have great music. Fortunately it does not. The controls of the game are very simple which is great. For a MOBA style game especially with cars you really want basic controls because anything too complicated is going to get annoying fast. Fast. But that's not to say the controls are good. We will talk about that very shortly. But before we get into that, the other cool thing is you do get some cool perks with this game. If you're playing this game on the PlayStation 4, you can actually get a lot of things for free. Even on the Xbox, you can get some of this for free. But on the PlayStation 4, there's one particular character you can get a really cool character for free. It's the shark character right here on the screen. It's totally cool and it's actually better than the shark character you can get within the game by purchasing it or unlocking it with in game currency. Yeah, guys, Heavy Metal Machines is a free to play game, so they have to make money somehow. How do they make the money? Well, off skins and different things like that. There's different custom animations you get from killing other players that you can basically purchase or buy, etc. You get the idea, or unlock within the game. It's kind of neat. But guys, this game really is hard to play. Let's get into some of those controls real quick. The controls of the game are basic, as I've said. However, they don't work as well as you might anticipate. This game was made in the Unity engine, which is a good engine, no doubt. But sometimes, a lot of games that are made with Unity just don't seem to have the best controls. This is no basically outlier. This game is very bad with controls. Something as simple as trying to hit your enemy with your shots or basically using some of your powers to basically get a speed jump etc is actually very difficult. Now of course that's out the gate. If you tweak the controls yourself you might be able to get a better gameplay experience but because I'm reviewing this title I didn't want to do that because I want you guys to get the idea what this game's like when you just download it and try to play it and it really is kind of a broken mess. They really need to look at this game for consoles at least and say hey what's going wrong with these controls? I'm sure on PC these control issues are not a problem at all but on basically console it's almost broken at least on the ps4 i could be wrong for the xbox players i don't own an xbox i don't know but i'm expecting it to be much the same guys it's really really bad though trying to get all your powers to work or hit an enemy is just a complete challenge and then let's get into one more thing when you do hit an enemy it doesn't feel like the attacks are powerful enough even if you're using a tanky character it doesn't feel like you're actually doing enough damage to justify the less mobility when i say mobility i mean how fast your character goes because those tanky characters which are very good for attacking are very very slow. But also, let's talk about why we should attack other players. Well, essentially guys, there's a ball, okay? And you have to get the ball into the goal. It's as simple as that. That's the entire game right there. But in between that, you have to defend and basically attack. And it seems pretty straightforward. It's kind of like Rocket League right there, or Sonka or anything. I don't know. You give me an example. It's very similar to any game with cars and a ball you've ever played. But the idea is you're attacking each other. You're trying to defend. And sometimes the matches do take a long time because of this. And I had a match basically take 15 minutes just to score one point. Point. That's insane. While well, I've also had other games that only took a few moments to basically score a goal because players knew what they were doing. But my big issue with Heavy Metal Machines is that basically when you do destroy an enemy, they're only taken out of the game for 15 seconds. 15 seconds is long enough to score a goal on pretty much every map in this game. There are more than one map. There's, I think, at least two or maybe more. I could be wrong, but there is guaranteed at least two maps in this game. But the point of it is, when you take them out for 15 seconds, every time you destroy them, it doesn't get longer. So basically, you're always going to be going back and forth saying, oh, wow, that character I just destroyed is now back. Unlike other MOBAs, when you do take out an enemy or a player, etc., every time they get taken out, they becomes longer and longer before they can play again, which makes it more like rewarding for you when you do take them out. It kind of gives you an upper advantage to actually get things done you need to do. That's how most MOBAs are. Almost every single MOBA in the entire world is played like that. This game is not like that. And I get why, because it's such a fast-paced, small map kind of MOBA. I really don't even like saying it is a MOBA, because honestly, while the attacks are very MOBA style, the game itself is not really a MOBA. There's no minions, there's nothing to defend, there's no towers. I really don't qualify this game as a MOBA. And that's my big issue with it. The game's kind of confused on itself. It's like a gender identity confusion thing. Although it's a video game, so don't get too political on me here. But either way, guys, there's one big, big problem, though. There's too much health in this game. Yeah, I know. Too much health in a game sounds like, well, why is that a problem? That means it's actually easy. That is the problem. It's too easy, which makes some of the gameplay elements basically fall down to, who cares? Why destroy an enemy when you could just get to the ball? 
wall. And your armor's never gonna get destroyed because basically there's so much health, all you have to do is run like two feet this way or two feet that way, and you'll get health. And by the time you get done, you'll be fully health again. You'll be fully healed. You could be shooting at an enemy, and essentially he runs into a health thing, and all he has to do is just keep going around, and basically he'll have full health. That means you have no point to destroy him. Basically all the damage you just did was pointless. There's no point in it at all. Now guys, each game is played with four on four combat basically, so you got four people per team. Assume that your team takes out two players on the opposing team, right? So you should have a huge advantage, but it's not because it's 15 seconds per player. So they'll be able to come back in 15 seconds, right? But when they do come back, they can actually basically land on top of you or wherever you are on the map, and they will actually destroy you if they land on you, or pretty much destroy your entire car if not basically kill you, and basically then you'll lose the ball. And then you lose the ball, someone else can pick it up. It's like a fumble, just like football, or rugby, etc. You get the idea. But, you know, that's ridiculous, right? It's kind of annoying. You could be right about to score that goal, but in 15 seconds, if you did not make it there, they could basically crush you, and then you've lost the ball. And it goes back the other way, and then basically it's a oh, toss-up. You don't know who's going to win this game anymore, and it goes back and forth, back and forth. The game, for those reasons, is essentially not fun at all. But I do want to say one thing, though, though guys, this game is pretty generous, they've done something pretty cool. For the first season, they're giving everyone a free battle pass. Doesn't matter if you're playing on basically Xbox or PS4, I believe the PC players have to pay for it, but the console players do not, and that's a pretty cool thing. So if you go to the add-on section, basically on either store, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation 4, you have some exclusive content there. You can get a free battle pass, and if you do download it, you'll have the battle pass for free. That's pretty darn cool, lots of cosmetics, lots of cool things in there that you get for absolutely nothing. And of course, if you're on PlayStation 4, you can download that amazing character that I told you about, and that's pretty cool. It's worth knowing, guys, that the cars in this game have different purposes. Some are made for attacking, defending, or shooting, for the most part, but then there are some support characters that are kind of overall good at different things, and you might want to choose the car that makes sense to the playstyle that you're going in with. But keep in mind, if you're basically your team has more than one shooter on it, you may not want to choose another shooter. You'll want to choose either a tank or a support character. At the end of the day, it's still a MOBA, but barely. I will stress the idea that it's barely a MOBA. Well now guys, you've heard me rant about this game for over 7 minutes, but it's not a totally bad game. It does have some fun to offer, and of course they've given the Battle Pass away for free, and also for basically PlayStation 4 owners, a free skin, which is awesome. I don't know if Xbox owners have anything coming to them besides maybe the Battle Pass. I don't know about the skins, if there's any unique skin, I don't know. You'll have to download the game and find out for yourself. Go to the add-on section or additional content, and you'll be able to find out for me. Let me know in the comment section though, I'm telling you, I want to know. This game is actually very fun in some ways, but the controls are so broken it fundamentally breaks the game. With the controls being as they are right now, I couldn't give this game a pass by any means. I would say play it if you're bored, if you have nothing else to do, this could be a fun game that you and your friends could play. Obviously there's a lot of other better MOBAs out there, I don't even consider this game a MOBA myself, and I really won't play this after this video. This is my last time playing this game, I guarantee it. But either way, it's still cool and I know there's someone out there right now who's looking for a game just like this. Perhaps they've already known about it from the PC and they wanted to play it on console. This is your time to do this. That. And of course, you're getting the battle pass full free is totally worth your time. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you like this game? Have you heard of it before? Let me know in the comment section. I'm curious. Until next time, guys, it's been Gamer Today.